Three, two, one. This is the Phantom of Many Topics. Today is Thursday, September 20th. We are on the River Thames in the city of London and we just passed the HMS Belfast. Behind us is the Tower Bridge and I am the Phantom of Many Topics. That's the Shard. This is me. And here we go. So just past the HMS Belfast, we are on the City Cruises Tour. This is the London Bridge. There's the London Bridge Hospital. There is the London Bridge. This is the fifth London Bridge. The fourth London Bridge is located in Lake Havasu, Arizona. And there's the London Bridge Hospital right there. We're passing boat. Queen Elizabeth II opened the latest London Bridge in 1973. 1973. If you travel to the USA, you can see the previous bridge. The previous bridge. Shipped to Lake Havasu, Arizona. The last one. Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Right on the border between California and Arizona. This is the current London Bridge. Not as impressive as the Tower Bridge behind us, but uh, okay. So looks like there's a church in this year. A lot of students today on this boat. We're heading towards Westminster. Heading towards Westminster. Pickford's Wharf. And here's the Shard building again. The Oyster Shed. Thames River. A river runs through the city of London. Oh. Way up ahead there we can see the television town. Shakespeare's Globe. Right over there, right in the center of our shot, is the rebuilt Shakespeare's Globe. William Shakespeare, a replica of the original Shakespeare's Globe. Thank you. 
There's the Tate Modern, which is the art museum. This is called the Millennium Walk Bridge. It connects the Tate Modern to St. Paul's Cathedral over here. St. Paul's Cathedral is that dome building. But more than that it goes in Shakespeare day. That's what I was doing. Tate Potter. And back there's the shark. The great great doors and blues cathedral rises dramatically from the highest point in London. A cathedral dedicated to St. Paul has stood there for over a thousand years. St. Paul is an active place of worship in the Church of England. Again, I am the, the phantom of many topics. It's also a popular tourist attraction. So many good people feel you'll have a breathtaking view of the beautiful day. If you have stone legs, you can climb the stairs leading to the top. Is a circular balcony known as the Whispering Gallery. Yeah, it's and it's to stand on the opposite side, then turn to the roof and speak in the whisper. The gallery's acoustics are so perfect that you can hear each other. Blackfire was a train station stop on the district line. On the district line. We see the London Eye, which is the uh, Ferris wheel that was built in the, the uh, 2000s. London Eye, a recent addition to the city of London, a very big tourist attraction. IBM building for Daniel Padoni. IBM, right there, IBM.
many of City Cruises captains. Sunrise. IBM building. <laughs> Ahead we see the Elizabeth Tower, which is also known as Big Ben. And it is being renovated, so it does not look like it at all. And there is Westminster Abbey, Westminster Church, I'm not sure, I'm always confused. Okay. right ahead. And we're about five minutes from the end of our journey. Oh, there's the Elizabeth uh, Purcell room thing that was on my other video. Remember the bus video to the southern side of London, the part two? There's that Elizabeth uh, Purcell Hall. Hurlingham. London Eye. renovated will be renovated for the next two years two years so you can't see the big Ben at all last year Piccadilly Circus was being renovated there's the flag of Great Britain and the United Kingdom God save the Queen God save the Queen soon to be King right now it's Queen Queen right now later on will be King London Eye. You can see up to 40 kilometers or 25 miles in every direction. The wheel takes about half an Okay, we are about three minutes away from uh, hitting the port. So this is where we're going to end the video now. Thank you for watching.